all right what's up youtube welcome and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time my name is shamaya if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn that post notification bell on for today's video we're going to be looking at my physical tbr y'all not the kindle tbr physical tbr i need to do a video kindle tbr because my kindle is crazy too but needless to say i have gotten my tbr down tremendously so if you have not watched my unhaul video you can go back and watch that i did unhaul some books but it was just books that i noticed for sure that i was not going to read it was just i'm not reading that so i have this stack of books over here that is still left i do have it in a tbr card but i chose to stand up for this video i don't really want to sit down right now but let's go ahead and get right into this video and just a small disclaimer, I will not be going into details about these books. I'm just going to be going through them because I kind of do have a lot to go through. But needless to say, let's go ahead and start off with the first book. And that is Pucking Around. And I've had this on my TBR before, like a monthly TBR. And I just have not gotten to it. I think it's just, the I think it's not even intimidating to me. 600 page hockey romance. I don't know. And then I just heard some stuff that goes on in this book that I wasn't thinking that I was really too fond of uh, for my own personal reasons. So I wasn't quite sure if I should get into this. Comment down below if I should just go ahead and knock it out. But I just think that like hockey is for like winter, like my winter TBR. I just feel like that. I just feel like that could be on there. You know, like I really do feel like that, but it is still on my physical TBR. I have not gotten rid of it yet. On to the next. Then we have The Ballad of Never After. And if you guys have not seen my previous videos, go back and watch those. I am trying to get through the Caravel, Caravel series and Once Upon a Broken Heart. So this is the second book to that. Then we have A Little Life. And I am scared to read this, y'all. I have seen so many people cry and everything about this book and I'm scared that I'm going to be the one who do not cry so I might actually end up doing a vlog or something with me reading this book because I just feel like I don't know it's not like that, that I'm heartless it's just like things make me sad but it's hard to, to make me cry so if this made me cry it's like dang like this is real sad like she crying and I went through family deaths and stuff like that and haven't cried so i'm gonna get to it soon for sure then we have a court of silver flames and y'all know i went on a big high hiatus for this series i wasn't too fond of it and then i got into it at one point and then i got out of it so i have mixed feelings about it honestly everybody rants and rave over this series like honestly they do it's not a bad series. I suggest you read it if you have not read it yet. I am just on the final book that they have out. I have seen a little buzz about her creating the next book, but I think I would just probably finish, start this book once that book probably gets announced or um, get a release date or something because I just don't want to read the whole entire series to catch myself back up, if that makes any sense. Then we have the second book, which is Pucking Wild. And this is the second book to, what's this book called? Pucking Around. So I have both um, actual series. I do want to get through them. I just don't know. Like, I'm scared I'm not going to like it, honestly. And the intimidation from that is making me not want to read it. So it's like... Let's go ahead. I'm going to just go ahead and do this big kahuna. I have the Shadow and Bone series. And I bought this a long, 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 long time ago. And I have the series. I just have not gotten to it. I was supposed to read this before I read Caravel. But I just feel like I can go back later on and just probably finish this as like a palate cleanser. Well, not, a, not even a palate cleanser, but something I could just do in my free time a little bit later. Probably not. I probably might end up giving it away. I'm not quite sure. Then I am going to do all these series together because that's what it seems like. So we have My Fault, Your Fault, Our Fault. I read the back of My Fault when I was in Target and I absolutely loved it. And then Target had a buy 
one or buy two, get one free or something like that along those lines. And the girl just ended up picking up the other two books to go in this series. I have not read it. No, I have not. Hopefully this, these books are here can get moved to out front to get completed in what, what is it? August in August, um, TBR video. But as of right now, it is still on the cart. Then we have Red Rising. Y'all, y'all know I've been trying to get to Red Rising for the longest. I just know the series is low key kind of long. It's not really long, but it's just three books that I know for sure that I would not be able to get to right away. So hopefully this fall, winter, I can definitely just finish the Red Rising series and keep it moving. Then we have Love Light Farms, and this is by B.K. Borson, and I've had this book since last Christmas. This is the only book that I did not get to in my Christmas actual um, haul, so I went and went Christmas book shopping, and this is the only book that I did not get into for that Christmas season, so I'm just waiting a whole nother year, and I'll be reading it during Christmas. It's probably the first book, so that I can get that out of the way. And then I did pick up L. Kennedy, The Deal, Mistake, and The Score. And you know, this has like six books, five or six books or something along those lines. Let's see. Off Campus has five books. Yeah, Off Campus has five books. So I still have to get the fourth and the fifth book of this series, but I have not started it because I know this is another long series. And I have to get this series done, y'all. Like, I got to get some of the series that I'm in the middle of finished before I can fully decide that I'm just going to go dip my toe into another series. It's just too much. It's way too much. Then we have Long Shot, Block Shot, and I think the last one is Hook Shot, Hoop Shot, Hook Shot, Hoop Shot, something like that. Another series. Oh, Hook Shot. So this is a trilogy that I have not started yet. And if you guys, I just figured out that Long Shot is actually on audiobook that you can listen to it. So I might end up picking up this series sooner than we actually think. And my mom actually read it and she was like, it's really, really good. But it is a basketball romance. So yeah, another sports romance we have there. Then I do have two books. I have Sarah J. Mass Throne of Glass and the Assassin's Blade. I have not started this series. I have picked up the first two books so that I can know, like, I'm going to start this series. I have picked them up. I just have not finished The Court of Silvery Flame, so that's why I have not started the, what is this, Throne of Glass series. And I do have two of the books. I just haven't bought the rest. I was supposed to. I just haven't. I just don't feel the need to have the book's sitting around if I haven't started the series. Then we do have Serpent in the Wings of Night and The Ashes in the Stark Cursed King by um, Carissa Balbrent. Brabrant. And I have these two big kahunas. And you probably like, I did order these off of Amazon, I believe. I ordered these off of Amazon because these two right here, came out in hard covers first and I don't like hard covers so these are like huge kahuna of the books and the text is so small it's ridiculous but I'm going to get to them soon I know that I think the next book has came out for this so it's like three books out now if I'm not mistaken eventually I'm going to get to it I know my fantasy time is coming I like to read fantasy around the fall winter time so I know my time is coming with those then we have Credence. I just have not, like, TikTok made me want to read this. Then it's like my TikTok switched to everybody hates Credence. And I have not been, I have been like pushing this book off so much to the point where I already have the audiobook that where I could have listened to it already. I just, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. I think I am going to actually probably put this on my summer. I might actually put this on my vacation reads. But I feel like the, the cover gives fall. Doesn't get fall. I'm going to wait to the fall time. It gives fall. And then the last series books that I have is the Magnolia Park series. Now, I have read the first two 
books. I didn't even know I had Into the Dark yet. Didn't know I had that. But anyways, we have Magnolia Park series. I am on Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home. And I am thinking about actually picking this up really soon, honestly. Because I kind of miss Magnolia, I'm not going to lie. I like Magnolia. I'm a Nick Magnolia girl. I'm not a Daisy fan. I don't really like Daisy. It's like, I don't have nothing against her, but I just, mm, I, don't really, I didn't really like Daisy like that. But I do want to hop into A Long Way Home by Magnolia Park. I mean, Magnolia Park's A Long Way Home by Jessa Hastings. I do want to get into this really soon. I just know once I'm finished with that TBR, then I'll be able to get into all of these books right here. And I'll probably be able to knock all these books off, it, off of the shelf fairly soon. But the thing is, I am on a book buying ban. Not really, but really. And I'm trying not to buy books because I want to get down my physical TBR at home. But then when I go to the store, so there's a caveat to that. It's what people don't tell you. So when you go to the store and you go and you're off of your book book buying ban or whatever, what happens? You go and you buy 50 books because you don't miss 50 releases. Now you have 50 books to put right back where those other books were. You just had maybe five to 10 books on your physical TBR. But hey, maybe that's just me and how it goes for me. But I know plenty of people who have said that is what happens to them as well. But if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Turn that post notification bell on. That is all of my physical TBR that I have left. And I probably do another one at the end of the year. I kind of do these like beginning, middle, end. Because I just feel like it don't really change a lot. But it does at the same time. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.